My name is Micah Friedman, and I am a junior majoring in religion here at Florida State University. I was first interested in majoring in religion and selected religion as my major uh, because I was thinking a lot about how people uh, find a sense of meaning in such a chaotic and uh, confusing world uh, that we live in. And I figured that religion and religious beliefs are one of the ways throughout history that people have found a sense of meaning and uh, helped to think about what their role is in something greater than themselves. Taking, uh, studying religion from a historical perspective, as we do in the religion department, has helped me uh, to think about how to be a religious person uh, better and in ways that are more true and useful in uh, the 21st century modern world that we live in, which is very different than uh, the world in which many religions were founded. One of the courses that really stands out in my time here at Florida State is a course that I took with Dr. Amanda Porterfield on psychology and U.S. religious history. We looked at five different religious traditions and uh, thought about how these traditions within an American religious context think differently about the individual, individual psychology, and a person's uh, experience of their mind. Through course discussion and through our assignments, Dr. Porterfield really challenged us uh, in a way that was powerful to me uh, to think through the eyes, through the perspective of practitioners of uh, each of the, these religions that, were, that we were studying and to understand how um, an immigrant Catholic might think differently about uh, the world than someone who adopted American Buddhism or uh, an immigrant Jewish community. Um, by challenging uh, the students to really uh, step outside of our own worldview and to think through the eyes of another, uh, Dr. Porterfield <clears throat> really helped me to uh, develop uh, an important understanding of the way that religion operates and works in uh, the United States. So like, like all college students, I spent a lot of time uh, at Florida State thinking about what I'm going to do after I graduate college when I'm not uh, here in Tallahassee anymore. The professors with whom I've developed relationships in the religion department have uh, been some of the most valuable uh, people in helping me to think about what routes I could possibly take uh, after I graduate. And uh, also helping me to think about think critically about what I'm involved in uh, today. The courses that I've taken on Islam in the religion department have provided me not only with immensely valuable understanding of one of the most significant and historical uh, religious traditions in the world, um, but also has provided me with skills uh, and tools to think about uh, the unique time period in which we're living today. As I'm taking a course on uh, Islamic law and society. I am also taking a course on Islam in the modern age uh, that's instructed by Sam Houston, um, who is a PhD uh, candidate who really challenges us in, in this course to think about how the phenomenon of modernity has dramatically shifted uh, the world and uh, forced people of all different religious traditions especially uh, Muslims, to think dramatically differently about their own beliefs and uh, to <clears throat> implement reforms and changes for, uh, in order to accommodate to the modern world in which we're living. Thinking about these questions is so important uh, it, today as we hear about uh, religion and religion's role in the state uh, constantly, um, both in the United States and uh, in other countries around the world. Um, and taking courses uh, like these courses on uh, Islam in the religion department have provided me with uh, very valuable ways to think about uh, how, uh, how the dynamics between religion and state are complicated and uh, need to be navigated in the future. Mm -hmm.